where summons it was in the trailer they just didn't use them yeah you, if you didn't see it there were summon commands in the trailer wow. everyone's asking will there be a timeline convergence well of course there will be do you want to get spoiled to where this eventually is going to go I mean, do you want us to actually start, like, thinking about it? Because I talked about it three years ago. We talked about it when we finished FF7 Remake, where this is going to go. It's almost guaranteed that now we have confirmation that Zack is most likely not just losing his, uh, his girlfriend. Maybe losing his girlfriend in this timeline, we don't know. Zack possibly losing the love of his life here. Also is losing his best friend to the influence of Sephiroth. He's losing everything in his timeline, as well as, you know, every single character in FF7 OG's OG timeline is losing stuff too, because ultimately this game and 7 Remake is about dealing with loss. That is, that is a huge part of the game. It's about life, it's about the planet, but it's also about how the people in the planet deal with loss as well as losing your own planet. So what is, what's happening in Zack's timeline? He's losing everything. I don't know who he's gonna be going up there with. We have no idea what his party's gonna be. It might be Jesse, right? It could be those characters that we see that are alive somehow, potentially in another timeline. But where does this shit converge? To me, it makes a lot of sense that this whole story, at the end of part three, everything ends with a big confrontation of Sephiroth. On one end, you have Cloud and his party. On the other hand, you have Zack and his party. And he gets to fight next to his friend again. The friend that he potentially loses, which is Cloud. That they get to party up. And you get to beat the sh in a different way that is different from the OG FF7. What happens? You and Cloud get to beat the shit out of that piece of shit. That sounds like the greatest fucking possible conclusion that you could have for, for this crazy timeline shit. That Zack and Cloud finally team up to beat the shit out of them. My God. We were saying that this likely would be the case three years ago, that Zack's in his different timeline. They're eventually going to converge at the, at the very end of the game, at the very end of uh, everything. Not the convergence at the Northern Crater itself here, but I'm pretty sure that the reunion in part three, because part three is likely going to be called reunion, but it's not the reunion of all of these, you know, experimented folks that are going to be meeting at the Northern Crater. It's the reunion of uh, Zack and Cloud throughout the timelines. That makes perfect sense. So I'm sorry if that ends up happening and I spoiled it for you. I'm sorry. I'll also be extremely happy if that's where they take this story. I'll be extremely happy if that's, if that's the whole point of this to bring Zack back in some way. My God, dude. Yeah, wasn't there another game called Reunion? Wait a minute, wasn't there? Crisis Core Reunion. Yeah, that's right. So fuck, they already took that shit. They gotta have some sort of crazy, you know, multifaceted name that's gonna mean a billion different things the same, same way that Remake and Rebirth mean. Because Remake means like four different things technically throughout the story of part one. We don't know what the hell Rebirth is exactly referring to, but we have a pretty good idea, but we don't know the things that's, you know, hiddenly being referred to. I think Revengeance is the best one. Definitely Revengeance. Revelation? Just look at it all. Maybe. It's so green. Even after everything we've done to it, it's still going strong. It may look that way, but in reality, it's barely hanging on. To the stage of history. I was wondering, What's Cloud been doing these past five years? Where's he been? And you're asking me this? This is gonna sound crazy, but as far as I know, Cloud was never in Nibelheim five years ago. Look at this fun shit. Fun chocobo shit. Sprint, dismount, scent, scour. What the hell? What can chocobos do now? Five years ago. Life stream. It is the yeah, I'm actually kind of curious on this too. I'm curious what the hell these ruins are. You know what I'm going to predict? That this is new shit added to Final Fantasy VII, different from the OG. I'm going to predict this is Benora. This might be a bit later in the story, but I am going to predict that this is Benora. After it got nuked. Benora does not uh, show up at any point in the OG7. It's technically like a, because it's essentially nuked from existence. What's Benora? Um, it's a place, a town that exists that Shinra wipes off the map from uh, Crisis Core. Uh, not Gongaga, different, different place. It's where Angeal used to live. Life stream. 
It is the very essence of our star. The blood coursing through its planetary veins. Say Costa del Sol. Oh, Costa del Sol is just a small place. It'll make it, bro. I think Costa del Sol will make it. For sure. I think once again, we're going to get references to Genesis and shit, but it's going to be referential the same way that Genesis was referenced in FF7 Remake. Technically, they already have, have injected those elements into the game. Weiss, Genesis, Cisne. The other guy, the guy in the email, they said, uh, Kunsel. They've already, they've already put those elements into the game. And guess what? They're not cringy and horrible. They're actually fine. <laughs> they actually kind of added to the story. Nero, yeah, was added. Deep Ground stuff wasn't horrible, cringy bullshit in the same way that it was either in Crisis Core or Dirge. It actually amplified the story and made it kind of great. It's funny, like, you can take some of those elements, but you, you, you don't have to inject exactly how they used to be in their old, horrible fashion. I don't know how they pulled it off. I mean, it seems kind of easy. They just treat it in the same way they treat the other characters. It'll almost, it's funny, FF7 Integrade will almost make you want to revisit Dirge of Cerberus until you actually play it, and you're like, nope, don't need to play it. You definitely don't need to watch any of the cutscenes. Dirge of Cerberus retroactively made me dislike Final Fantasy VII. So no, just don't do it. Don't fucking do it, bro. Please. Yeah, mental damages. According to Hojo, they're connected to Sephiroth. Shadows of the Man, I believe he called them. Sephiroth was in Midgard. We fought him. Whatever happened, he's alive. But why come back now? We didn't get um my uh my real my real wish, though. We didn't get my Metal Gear 5 title screen. That, that doesn't show up anywhere in here. I mean, it still can happen, technically. It still technically could happen. But I, I desperately want Seven Rebirth to cold open into the flashback. Cold open. Right into the back of the truck. That's where the game starts. Not even any explanation of what's going on. Cold open into the flashback. After five years, doing who knows what... Well now, I think we woke it up. Angered it more like. We haven't seen summons yet. We haven't seen the summons, but they're right here. Bottom left, commands menu. Two stocks, just like before. Uh, red materia. You just don't see them. Because they're obviously gonna save that for later marketing. They're just gonna they're just gonna save that for marketing down the line when they redesign the way the summons work and shit. The summons might be more functional than last time, right? They actually might, you know, do more things because let's be real. The summons didn't work great in 7 Remake Part 1. Some of the summons were okay. Some were, some were borderline broken in how good they were, but some of them just were too expensive. I, I, you barely use them because it was better to use your ATB on other shit. So clearly that needs a revamp. Account for that and probably realize that, oh yeah, they didn't, they, they were cool sometimes, but they didn't really do much because they were very situational and very expensive. And then you get Carbuncle that's just busted as fuck. On the Turks latest and greatest, Elena. It built ridiculously fast. It was literally pay to win DLC. It made the game easy. She may be new, but she's still a Turk. I'll go on a media blackout closer to release. I'm definitely on the goddamn FF7 media hype train from this point forward, don't worry. Just like the OG game, I am on this shit. Woo, I'm all the way. Don't you think this has a triple tech? I mean, it could later on. It could. It's funny, we actually see Cloud, like, colliding with the environment here. This bitch just goes straight into a rock. This is, this is to get you to show you it's an actual real game. Because Cloud just goes, oop, I'm just going to go inside this fucking rock. <laughs> and beat ass. Surprised they used that one. He has magic. Um, is that the same in the Japanese one, chat? We have, to, we have to check out the Japanese one. Yeah, the Junon cannon. So cool. Yeah, somebody was saying we don't see any enemies in the um, environment. 
In 7 Remake Part 1, you do. You're not uh, just getting random fights in Remake Part 1, from what I understand, from what I remember. So I, I likely will be the same thing, you know? Probably just more spaced out. Was there four, four spots on the map there? God damn, there is, dude. Holy shit. This is like main quest. This is something. This is who the fuck knows. Maybe a chocobo thing and then this thing. How many goddamn things are there? No, I don't think it's open world. People are saying it looks open world. I don't think it's open world. I think it's just very big zones. I think it's just really large areas. They say Look at the map distance during the Yuffie dual tech. Yo, 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 okay. Holy shit! Dude, the point on the map you need to get to is 11,000 meters away? Buddy, where the fuck? You know what that screams to me? What are they fighting here? Because... This looks like... Hang on a second. I'm cooking. I think we know where this is, chat. I don't think this is the prison. These canyons look pretty similar. And they're fighting one of these crazy dogs? And they're showing Yuffie here? To me, it reminds me of the On the Way to Wutai. When you're on the way to Wutai, it's a bunch of, like, brown mountains on the way there. I, I would love to see what enemies you fight on that path. If there's a video... It looks like a Nibel wolf. Yeah, it could be. I wonder, because most of the enemy locations have been fairly well referenced, uh, and there's a huge island before this, you know? It could be Nabel. There's all these fucked up, like, telephone poles and shit. There's, like, remnants of... stuff. It's hard to say. We're trying to pick, pick apart where our characters are fighting in this trailer. A lot of lightning birds on the way to Wutai. I thought that was Corel Mountain. Wasn't the train tracks in Corel Mountain where you fight a lot of lightning birds? It's funny because we can actually like most likely find these enemies. We could probably look up the majority of enemies that you fight here and get a decent idea of where we are. I remember these funky elephants. They're fighting a wolf in this thing. I don't know what Red 13. I can't even tell what you're beating up. Some weird, funky little creature. Uh, you know what? I don't know. I'm very curious. I'm very curious if this is Wutai, or the on the way to Wutai. I'm really curious. It could be a lot of places, though. It's just funny that we're seeing, like, Red 13 and, you know, Yuffie teaming up. Yeah, we're playing FF7 GeoGuessr at the moment. Like, no shit. So, when they start this attack- Yo, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Cooking. When they start this attack... It goes... Like, it gets pocketed into the right side of the limit break. Right there. This is still... Aerith and Tifa, right? Yeah, it's still Aerith and Tifa. So it does something to the limit gauge. It didn't take away this... We didn't see it get removed from here. Interesting. We see it happen with Yuffie and uh, Red 13. So yeah, they like pocket a portion of their limit when they dual tech. Weird. Yeah, I don't know. What we do, what we do not see, and once again, it's Cloud and Barrett doing a similar thing. Um, what we don't see is this ever getting used, right? These pips. We still don't see these pips actually getting used, you know? Additional limit bar. I don't know, man. I mean, we're just making observations here, but I don't know. I really don't know. Yeah, weird. Let's check out the Japanese trailer really fast. Hold on a second. See what's different. You think it's a Nibel wolf and that's Nibelheim? It very well could be. A lot of wolves pop up around Nibelheim. Oh, 
So are we telling me this footage is like slightly different than the other one? Is it like very subtle, the differences? Mostly the same, right? Some angles are different? Okay. Why does Sephiroth mention that Tifa dies? Because according to Sephiroth, Tifa did die. That's why. That's that's in the old game, man. That's in that's in OG FF7. Yeah. Instead of him saying I killed her, he says I killed Tifa. Right. I mean, we got that. We got that. They inferred that. We get that. He's just fucking with Cloud. And according to Sephiroth, she did die. He's just fucking with Cloud. That's it.俺たちは。どうして今になって現れたんだろう。So are we saying all the health values are the same per trailer? <laughs> Probably not, right? Hey, they're not! Cloud isn't fucking glitching into the rock! Dude! Cloud isn't rock bugging on this one. They are different. Holy shit. Huh. Oh, and, and dude, and Barrett is in the back here. And he's shooting. Interesting. So they're not just like sitting idly by. And Barrett isn't in the party. Interesting. Yeah, there is differences. Huh. Wow. In, in the Japanese version of this one, we see an extremely low quality asset being loaded in because the game is too fucking fast. <laughs> that didn't happen in the English one, mind you. For four frames, the mountain didn't load in. Yeah, dude, this shit is different. Look at this. What is all this crazy shit in the background? Yeah, and it's not foggy here. I just realized, yeah. It's not it's not all foggy here. Yeah, it's different weather as well. So there is a, there is a lot of differences between these two trailers. That's interesting. Pips stand for different levels of your limit gauge limits level up every time you do a dual tech, meaning Barrett has a level 5 limit with Cloud in that fight. Yeah, maybe. That's possibly how it works. I don't really have a prediction on summons. I just hope they're different. You know? I just hope that uh, they're, they're more utilized. In part two. Yeah. Some interesting shit. That's actually... That's actually different.